At Oswego City School District, our mission is to educate, inspire, and empower all students. We have a vision to be an innovative, high-performing district that graduates every student. In order to do this, we need all students, teachers, staff members, and administrators to work together to create an atmosphere that fosters diversity, equality, and inclusivity. There's always people who are different in the school, like in the hallways and classrooms, and I think people find it hard to be accepted. When I first moved to Oswego, I faced some new challenges with bullying. I was getting called names by some students. I wasn't out as gay at this time, but kids definitely knew before I did, and they took heavy advantage of that. Times have changed, and so we need to embrace these changes and alter the ways we think and act as a community. We need to think about how our actions and behaviors impact not only ourselves, but others as well. I definitely had a lot of struggle um, in middle school. I know that that was especially hard for me. Um, that was a time when I was still figuring out who I was. Being seen as equal as the male counterparts in my honors classes because they kind of speak over us and some of them speak so loudly that we can't get thoughts out because we're not as loud as they are and when they are loud they're seen as leaders and strong and when we're loud we're seen as bossy. We want to change the culture of our schools to make sure that all of our school community members feel valued. In order to do so, we need to focus on the core beliefs of our district. We are a district that believes that students come first and that everyone can learn and grow. We ensure equity and create access and opportunity for all in a safe environment that supports and engages learners. We believe that everyone should be treated with respect and dignity. We value honesty, integrity, and perseverance. We promote creativity and innovation and believe that community, collaboration, and partnerships are vital to our success. I think the environment in the school and in classrooms is, you know, we subconsciously make the decision to just kind of ignore or you know, not really make an effort to reach out to the people who are different. You know, we see someone who looks different, who talks different, or who is different from us, and we don't, we don't put the effort in to show them that we'll accept them, so they end up just sheltering inside themselves because there's, we don't give them the opportunity to voice their thoughts and opinions and just kind of jump to the point of ignoring them or making fun of them or just not acknowledging them. Some kids, like, look at some of us black kids different like something with like, we grew up different from how, how they grew up. I feel like we should just like open, like be diverse about it. I think that talking about diversity can normalize it and making sure that it's known is very important because if we don't show people how other people live, if they're just exposed to it outside of their regular world, they won't know how to handle it. In OCSD, diversity is embraced and data and evidence inform our decisions. Our school leaders recognize that in order to spark positive change in our district, we need to hear from you, our students, the ones we want to make sure walk across the stage at the end of their senior year, the ones we want to feel important and valued, the ones who we want to teach so that they can go out in the world as confident individuals who will change our world. We need your input on your perceptions of relationships, equity, and fairness within our schools. Soon you will take a survey that asks about these aspects. District administrators will use your feedback to transform school and district practices and policies, to identify needs in curriculum, instruction, and resources, to drive professional development for teachers, and to drive education around citizenship for all students. Please be honest and thoughtful in your responses so that we can make positive changes in our schools. Thank you for your participation.